So, Elizabeth? Yes. Uh, that was an incredible episode this season, 4,722 hours. Oh, thank you. I just you. want to know, uh, what was your reaction when you found out you were just going to be like a one woman show for this whole episode? I mean, I didn't, I didn't believe it. I didn't think it... I, I thought it was a brilliant idea, very brave. I was very flattered that they would entrust me with, you know working every day when I'm usually there, you know, about four times a week. Um, but I just didn't think that it would pass through all the different layers of signing off and, you know, production, all that different stuff. And it was just so different from anything that we'd ever done. Um, and then all of a sudden, the script was there and I, I was learning my lines and it was happening. And I, I mean, the, those episodes don't happen without the most incredible crew and the most incredible creative and production staff. The, writer Greg Titley was just he I mean it was he he wrote a beautiful script and it was so something it had to be the foundation had to be an Agents of Shield but it was so different that it had to be so creative in different ways that I mean he just killed it and I you killed Jesse it. Bush, I mean you know? that they wouldn't have even been able to begin to do that if they didn't trust your incredible ability as an actor like I don't think I really don't think anyone else any other character could have carried it like that no they could but well, you did could. such a good job <laughs> she, you, right didn't she kill it she yeah. killed it I had tears at the end of it oh, oh yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> and you see a different side of Simmons. Like, yeah. she's so prim and proper and in the lab, and you see her rough. It was such a cool episode, and you, it, was, it was, yeah, it was one of my favorites. Cool. Yeah, we've, we've skipped ahead six months, and as Clark said, we see Chloe going to a Nine Inch Nails concert. <laughs> um, she's clearly broken. She's clearly, uh, you know, what's, what, what do you think it's going to take to get back in the fold and get back together and just never rejoin if she rejoins. I, I, Scott, Daisy, whatever her name is. <laughs> She's more like Mary's Sky than Yeah, now, yeah like she feels more before. like Sky, yeah. I mean, I'm just copying what you said before. Yeah, no, she I is. But she, um, I think number one and I know it, it I, I know it feels like what she's doing in her running off and being rogue is kind of selfish but I think in her mind it's the most selfless thing that she could possibly do I don't think she's aware of it but I think that's what she's into, that's what she's doing without knowing it um, and she I, I think the thing that will bring her together with the team is really just she'll do whatever it takes to protect them and it's going to probably come to a head where she's like okay I have to do it. I have to be there because they'll, they'll be hurt or something's going to go wrong for them so everything she does I think is really to protect the team and I think she's also she's in mourning and she feels incredibly guilty about you know being under sway last season and what she did under that even though none of that was her fault but that guilt I'm sure is is killing her and she's also lost you know her mom tried to kill her her boys her first boyfriend was like Hydra and then like her other one like died like it's been like a rough couple years oh, yeah I prefer it so I think she's in her happy place of being or not happy place but her her comfort zone safe, of, of being alone and isolated and kind of doing things on her own terms and really just protecting the team uh, like having to finally say goodbye to Fred. Like, at this point, he's played Ward, Hydra Ward, yeah. Hive Ward, every yeah. iteration of Ward. Yeah. <laughs> the cre- the creative, uh, writers are really creative with that, uh, keeping it. I mean, it was really, so it was hard. really hard. Yeah. It was really hard. Our last day of shooting uh, was our, was our um, fight sequence, and that was... That was hard. It, it was, you know, it was re- it was emotional between the characters, and it was emotional between me and Brad, and we knew it was the last time we would be really sweaty and touching each other, um, which is sad. Um, but it, but the last take, we both had tears in our eyes, and you know, they called a rap on us, and we both started crying. I mean, it's really emotional. You know, the show has shaped us all so much and changed our lives completely, and we all went through it together. We were yeah. little rabbits in headlights and you know our first comic con we had no idea what was coming and when I oh I've got goosebumps yeah. when Joss walked out on that stage the first time before our pilot the crowd I've never heard anything yeah. so loud and we had no idea I had no idea that was coming no and so, I so, yeah, so weird. Right? and we went through all that together and Brett was with us and it's we 
we're really, really missing him this yeah. year. This is our first time without him, and yeah, it's going to be. There's a big Brett Shake toll for sure, but he's going to be fine. He's going to go off and kill it and take the industry by storm. We're we're very proud of him, and we're supporting him yeah. massively. Um, and we feel really lucky to have had him on our cast for so long. Yeah. He's part of the family. Absolutely. Yeah. So I have a two-part question for both of you. Great. Are you excited about Ghost Rider coming into the series? Yes. And how do you think your characters are going to react in the series to him coming there? Because he's kind of an anti-hero. Yeah. I feel like Daisy probably loves a good anti-hero. Um, you know, there's Ooh, definitely... Oh, right. That's probably yeah. the guy. She's probably like, damn, yeah. you're, you're causing some trouble, but you're sexy. Um, she's, he's so different to Lincoln, too. So different to Lincoln, but I think probably more similar to herself or her new yeah. version of herself than she would probably like. Um, I can say that we we do work with each... <laughs> Marvel's there. Ah. Um, I, I could say that we do work with each other uh, quite a bit bit in the first episode um, so there's going to be some really interesting things but I'm more I'm actually really excited to see what Simmons <laughs> reaction to the, the technicality of her burning skull yeah, his I think, burning skull. I think she'd be fascinated and I think she'd be frightened and I think she's going to want to contain that stuff <laughs>